Hi, my name is Mike Kramer, and welcome. In this lesson, we're going to talk about the drop two voicing. So let's start off. What is a drop two voicing? Well, if I take a root position seventh chord like this, this is a C major seven chord in root position, and it's also a closed voicing, which means that all of the notes are as close to each other as they can be. And I take the second note from the top. In this case, I've got C, E, G, and B. The second note from the top is the G. If I drop that one octave down to here, and then keep all the other notes the same, I'll have to refinger it and it'll look like this. That is a drop two voicing of this C major seven chord. So listen to the difference. Closed position, root position, to a drop two. Now this is no longer a root position chord because the fifth is on the bottom. So this is actually a second inversion major seventh chord. So you can do this with any of your closed position voicings and it doesn't matter what inversion they're in. Just take the second note from the top and drop it down one octave and you've got your drop two voicing. So let's apply it to a basic progression that you would find in many, many jazz standards called the 2-5-1 progression. We're going to stay in the key of C. So that means that our three chords will be D minor 7, that'll be our 2 chord, G7, that's our 5 chord, and C major 7, which is our 1 chord. So I'm going to start here, inside four strings. This is my D minor 7 voicing. Now if all you've ever played up to this point are bar chords, you might go to here for your G7, and then C major 7 here. And that voicing, those, those will work fine, but if you want to create a little bit smoother voice leading, you can end up utilizing drop two voicings throughout. This first chord was a drop two voicing, and this C major 7 chord is also a drop two voicing, but this one for our G7 is not. So if I want to actually create a little bit smoother motion between the voices, from one chord to the next, I'll employ the drop two voicing for my five chord. And so I'm gonna end up using this particular shape. This is my G7. So I have the fifth on the bottom, there's the root, there's the third, and there's the flat seven. Now between the D minor seven and this G7, I actually have two notes in common. The D and the F stay the same. On the D minor seven, the D is the root, the F is the minor third, flat three. When we go to the G7, that D becomes the fifth, and this F becomes the flat seven of that chord. And then C major seven. So here it is together. So the voices move smoothly between one chord to the next, from one chord to the next. Now if I want to spice up that G7 chord a little bit, I'm going to utilize uh, an a substitution. Now this is not a chord substitution. This is what I maybe would refer to as an internal substitution. I'm going to substitute one note of the chord for another note. And what I'm going to do is employ the nine for one substitution. This is a great way to spice up your chords without adding notes to it. So I'm going to change out the, the root. I'm going to substitute the ninth for it. Now nine is the same as two as far as the letters are concerned. So this is what my G7 voicing becomes. It turns into a G9. Okay, so we've got D minor seven, G9, C major seven. Now, take this progression through all 12 keys. Uh, try and utilize it on, on jazz standards that you might be working on on your own. And uh, really get it into your hands. And then try also other inversions of these drop two voicings. If you'd like more in information on the drop two voicings, check out my book called Get, Get a Grip, Drop Two Voicings for Guitar. Now, the first volume focuses uh, its musical examples towards the tune All of Me and uh, works through seventh chords, nine for one substitutions, 13 for, six, or 13 for five substitutions, and then uh, talks about ways that you can alter your dominant chords to really come up with a lot of uh, uh, good voicings and, and create some smooth voice leading between one chord to the next within progressions. So thanks, hopefully this helps. Check out my website for more information, and I'll see you next time.